Hello, love friends, Dapper Drabby here, and welcome back to our Ultra Sun playthrough, Nuzlocke, kind of whatever. Leisurely Nuzlocke, I guess, is what we're going to finally follow on here. Um, right now, we have uh, one Pokemon. We have Oliver, which we are going to be end up trading in for that uh, Rock Ruff once we get that. So if you guys have a suggestion for a name for the Rock Ruff, go ahead and leave that down in the comment section below. Um... So we're just trying to keep uh, Oliver under level 10. And uh, we're about to meet up with Lily here. So let's go ahead and see what happens. Let me see if I can get my Lily voice on. Here we are. Meeting Lily. She's like, who are you? Ah. Uh, I'm just going to say, uh... What's wrong? Uh, help! Save Nebby! Oh, Nebby's getting attacked by Spiro again. Nebby, you just get you out of control, man. Look at that whiny. Ah. Pew pew! Oh wow, that glare! Sorry about that. The Spiro are attacking it. But but I'm not a trainer. I. I I can't. Please. Uh, I guess that's her. Please save Nebby. I'll heal your Pokemon for you, so. I know, I'm, I'm going in and out of it, in and out of it. Every time it goes dead dark, it messes it up. Okay, so let's see. We're going to have the same kind of thing. Oh, of course. Oh, it's coming at us. That's a first. That's a new thing. Focus on the sparrow. So well, the background looks amazing. Can we always fight on the bridge? Because I love it. Look at that beautiful background right in front of the waterfall. I want a, I want a background like this all the time. Oh, good thing we're not leaving. We don't have any other Pokemon, so Oliver is not going to leave and get pursued to death. Tackle is a three-hit KO, it looks like. And Sparrow is only going to pursue us. I wonder if we should get a Sparrow on the, the Nuzlocke. One more tackle. Go ahead, Oliver. Oliver. Oh, I thought I hit tackle. He's pursuing me. He will not let me leave. And there we go. He's taking off the Sparrow. Let's see, is there anything else new about this scene? You managed to chase off one of the spirit, but oh, there's still more! Please, please help Nebby, if you can. But be careful. It looks like the, uh, it looks like that attack may have damaged the plank bridge, too. It's like half Mickey, half something else. I don't know. Um, oh, whoa, don't fall. Continue. Oh, you're still going to fall. Oh, falling. And... Nebby. What? How are there three sparrows again? There was only two. So this one, they just changed the sprite to the, to the new one. And Nebby goes kaboom! Just like the first one. Oh, there goes the bridge. Lily's like, oh no! And Topico was like, get out of here, Sparrow. Whoa, look at that backflip. Flying flip, guys. Flying flip. Nebby's like, whoa, dude. And it is like... It is out of here. Whoa, bright lights, bright lights. Pew! Oh, oh, thank goodness. You tried using your power again, didn't you? Oh, Nebby. You know what happened last time you used it? You couldn't you You couldn't move for ages after that. I don't I don't want to see you like that again. No, I shouldn't say that. I'm sorry, Nebby. 
I know you're trying to save me that time, and I couldn't even help you in return. Mew. What? What is it? Well, there's something shiny on the ground. Pew. A sparkling stone. It feels almost warm somehow. Please, forgive me. I am so grateful to you for helping us out in this dangerous spot. Uh, who are you, you know? Uh, I don't know who you are. It's not like I've played this game before. You that got get grainy. Is there a way to get it not grainy? I'm Lily. And I suppose this stone must belong to you. This stone must belong to you. And we have a sparkling stone. Ooh, it's dark. It's black instead. You open the key item pockets and put it in the stone away inside. I wonder if I should actually back this up. Maybe it'll, it'll zoom in better. That does look a lot better, actually. Don't tell anybody about this, but seeing Nebby, it's, it's a secret, okay? Come on, Nebby, into the bag. All right, I said it wrong, but you know, it's still. Nebby, get in the bag. Nebby, you're sick in the bag. In darkness. See, I wish my camera could like automatically like adjust for that, but it won't. <laughs> um, I'm worried we might be attacked again by some wild Pokemon or something. I know it's too much to ask for, but do you think it could see us back to town? Nebby is just too strong. Gets all those mons to attack it. Um, I don't think there's any items in here. We're going to check just in case. And we're going to run off the bridge. Oh, I can't run off. That sucks. It's so much fun to just run and jump into the river. It goes dark and then messes up my lighting all the time. It just works better without lighting, because with lighting it looks like that, with the fingerprints and whatnot, so... It's just better in the darkness. It tried to adjust, and it couldn't. There. Oh! Top of driver. Oh, yeah! You already met Lily, eh? She's my assistant, yeah! The voice has changed six times from Sunday. It's because I, I don't... Remember what I did last time? Lily, I thought you were with the Kahuna. <clears throat> Kahuna Hala, he said he had something to attend to, so he left town on his own. I'm just, um, taking a little stroll on the Hollow Trail while I was waiting for him to return. And that's how I met... Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. And that's how you met our new neighbor, Dapper Drabby, huh? He just got to Alola yesterday, help him find his way around, yeah? So you're one of the professor's acquaintances. It's nice to meet you. Man, how do you jump back and forth with him? The Kahuna's back! Kahuna Hala has returned. The Guardian's chosen one is back. I guess that's all three of them, right? Only one of the strongest Pokemon uses in all of Aloya. Yeah! There is the Kahuna. Kahuna Matata. You know, just, just zoom in on that yellow coat there. There we go. Hala. Hala at your boy. <clears throat> have I missed something? No. No, that's not what you do. Hmm. <clears throat> have I missed something? No, that's not right. Oh, well. We'll figure it out. Oh, yeah. There you are, Kahuna. Hala. Was there some kind of trouble? Ha, ha, ha. Just caught in the middle of some brawling rock rough. That's all. Sorry, Lily. What were you saying before? For some reason, I thought I saw Tabu Coco flying about. <coughs> um, oh yes. Yes, Kahuna Hala. Nebby got attacked by some sparrow on the plank bridge, and Dabba Drabby here helped protect it. But the bridge collapsed, and I thought both of them might fall to the bottom of the ravine, and that's when the Island Guardian deity swooped in to save them. <coughs> Woo! That's something you don't hear about every day. <sighs> Although it is said to protect us, our Tabu Koko is a rather fickle creature. Yet our guardian has moved to save you. 
Kukui, my boy. I think we have cause to celebrate. Looks like we have a brave and kind new Pokemon trainer in our midst. Yeah. I'm glad to meet you, child. I'm Hala, the Kahuna of Mele Mele Island. Welcome to Alola. Young Kukui has told me of your coming. I'm glad we got the chance to meet today. Wow, that really hurts your throat when you try to go deep with Hala. Pew! I'm gonna do that one. Oh, when did you get out again? I know that Kahuna Hala and the Professor will keep you safe from any harm, but you should still stay in the bag and out of sight. It's safer that way. Nebby, well, it seems you've taken a liking to you. I've read that Pokemon like it when you pet them or take care of them, you know. Um, <laughs> Pokemon Refresh. Alright! Here's a lovely gift for me to help you on this special day, Dapper Drabby. I got something else. It's called a Rotom Dex without a Poke... It's a Pokedex without the Rotom. So it's not a Rotom Dex. Yet. A Pokedex is a real high-tech kind of tool, yeah. And it automatically records facts about any of Pokemon that you meet. Your new partner, Rally is already registered. Oh yeah, so check it out. And I got my trainer passport, so now I know who I am. Well, you gotta meet the Kahuna at least. Ready to head home now, Dapper Javi? Maybe. Adjust the lighting. Run around, run around. Uh, oh yeah, this is how. I don't remember his name. Voices. Are, oh yeah, Dapper Drabby, hold on a second. Sure, we'll go with that. <coughs> what is it, Hal? Did you forget something? You're seriously asking me that? Wow, that just molded the two of them. They're related. Who's the one here for that forgot to tell anybody before wandering off the little stroll and to sing without a word? Oh, that shiny thing. Hmm, Dapper Drabby. Would you be so kind to let me take a look at that sparkling stone you have there? Could it be? Tutu, isn't that... You were rescued by Tapu Koko at the bridge, isn't that what I heard, Dapper Drabby? Uh, yeah, that's when it rescued me, sure. So it even dined to give you a stone. Perhaps you are here in Alola, Dapper Drabby, because this is where you were meant to be. Allow me to borrow this stone for now. Fret not. I'll return it tomorrow's evening. <laughs> I'll return it to you in tomorrow evening. You have the makings of a brilliant trainer. I can see the light within you, too. You must do us the honor of joining us for the festival tomorrow. <coughs> oh yeah, first I'll make sure to get back get back home safe today though, Dapper Drabby. Lily, you should come with us too. Oh yeah. Wouldn't want you to go losing you twice in one day. You and that priceless Pokemon of yours. I'm mixing everybody together. Yes, I will keep an eye on. There he goes again. Nebby's out of the back. Pew! I'm just adorable. Oh, you. Would you try not to escape the very moment I was told you were not run around? Uh, yeah, whatever. Whatever she actually said in the voice that actually works. Wingle, flingle. Mine, mine. We are home and mom danced her feet off. Right? No. Welcome back. I'm not going to do mom a voice because I don't remember what she said. Look and what, look what you got with ya. Cuckoo. And Meow says, get that thing out of here. Um, I came running out to help you. What a sweet little thing. Right there on Route 1. It saved you. That's amazing. It must have been fate that you met. I think it was the actual voice. You two look great together. I feel happier just looking at the pair of you. <laughs> and we are back to being healed, right? So I think we can finally catch things now. We're just going a full 24 hours advanced. Lola, what a stunning sunset. All right, today's the day I finally unpack all of their boxes. Which is false. Was that the doorbell? Go see who it is, Dapper Jeremy. 
It's like using the full name that your mother gives you, right? It is Kukui because he just enters. Kukui just enters the door, does not care. Hey there, Dapper Drabby. It's it's about time we set out to our festival. Yeah. But first, I've got something to teach you. Yeah. Now that you're a real Pokemon trainer, the most basic of all basics. Come on to Route One. Have fun at the festival, sweetie. I'm sure that you'll have a good time with your new Pokemon pal. Me and Meowth will be sure to unpack every last box here, you see? Yeah, that's right. So I guess let's learn how to catch Pokemon finally. Hurry up, cousin. Pretend that you're a Pokemon. Use your agility. I'm going to agility my way the other way. No, I want to agility the other way. Leave me alone, Kukui. Let me just make sure this, like, zooms in on him so it doesn't, um, look too weird. Although it does look grainy. So let's get a Route 1 encounter here. We are going to try to do this Nuzlocke idea. So... I guess whatever the first thing we run into is what we will catch for our first root one here. Um, this is Professor Kukui though. Sending out his rock rough, his jelly. Who we'll have soon. He's just explaining, attack it. And then throw a ball. Vice grip. Tells me to go to the bag, ignore the potions, and grab the Pokeballs, and throw the Pokeball at the Grubin. And Kukui caught another Pokemon he's never going to use. So let's get our first catch out of the way here, and then we will uh, continue from there on the next episode to the festival. Alright, Kikui, you're taking too long, buddy. Although, thanks for the, the, the healing and the Pokeballs. So we get 10 Pokeballs right off the bat. 5 potions, that'll never be used. There goes the Kukui. Let's see what is our first Pokemon. Uh, we're going to try to catch only one per route here. A Grubbin. So we will start things off with a Grubbin of our own. Here I thought it might be a Rattata. So let's just do exactly, exactly what Kukui did. Tackle the Grubin. Which actually that didn't work at all. So we can tackle again. Rockruff must have a higher attack than uh, Little Oliver. And another string shot. We are slowing down. But we're stronger. Um, let's go ahead and throw a Pokeball. It gives you the shortcut of just pressing Y and throwing it. And we caught ourselves the Grubin. Does have a pretty strong attack with Vice Grip. And we added the the Grubin to the Pokedex with that new those new pictures of him. So sorry if this was a little slow today. Uh, you find its nest that you shouldn't stick your hand inside. You'll get bitten by an irritated Grubin. Um, hmm, what do we should name him then? We should always nickname whatever's on our team. Uh, I guess let's name it, say it turns into Charger Bug, 
for the longest time, and then Vika Volt. So, because I can't think of a name right now, we're just going to name it Victor. Spelled this way. Victor. So we'll just name it that for now since it is a male. Victor is added to our party. Um, I think we're going to go back to Mom's, heal up, and uh, we will continue from there in the next episode. Thank you. So thank you guys so much for coming by uh, and watching. But this has been Dapper Drabby. I will bid you guys a Lola, and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye-bye now.